So first of all, this was not the lipstick she used in the trial. Um, it's a nice lipstick, fine. We decided we were going with a plummy colour because any kind of pink colour washed me out. Um, so it's, it's Charlotte Tilbury. Just to show you how used this is, this is what she gave me to use on the day. This is pushed up as far as it can go. I don't even know if you can see how bad this is. There's literally no lipstick left. You can see the plastic where it kind of holds the lipstick in place. Um, bearing in mind, you know, some of the girls had backup lipsticks, lip balms, lip glosses, but we don't have a brush for something like this. I'm trying to push it up. There's, I can't push it up anymore. You can see the bottom of the base. So she left me with that. And I was like, um, thank you. Um, so that was one thing. Now, like I said, my older sister didn't end up doing, having her makeup done by the makeup artist because she ran out of time. Um, we'll get a bit more onto that in a bit, but, um, let's fast forward to after the wedding. I don't remember much of it. I don't drink, but it was just such a blur. It was just a fast paced day. It went so quickly. The important thing is we got married, you know, I don't know if anyone else felt like that on their wedding day, but yeah. And Come the day after, so I'd taken my makeup off, makeup off the night before. Come the day after, my eyes, my eyelids are itchy, like really itchy and sore. Um, really, really sore. And I didn't really think anything of it. I just thought, oh, well, you know, I don't wear makeup that often, like... Yes, I do my own makeup. I do a little bit, but like, oh, I don't wear a lot of glam makeup that often. Maybe it was just where she was just blending things out and stuff like that. And, you know, me being a little bit naive. And I started telling the girls, like, is this normal? My eyelids are swollen. swollen puffy um i can still see out of them but you know when it's like i can see but like all i can see is my eyelid um my eyes were crusty like almost like i had eczema or something on them and i start talking to the girls and my older sister was like oh i didn't want to say anything but i had that too and i was like we can't be the makeup artist because you had your own makeup and i go Oh my god, you, she put the concealer and stuff on you. And my sister went, yeah, she did the concealer. And then I went and go and did my own makeup because she was running out of time. And I was like, oh my god, what if it's the concealer? I said, has anyone else got eye issues? My, it took me ages to clear up my eyes. I still get flare-ups if I um, get, get like, under the weather kind of thing. And um, so then... Fast forward a bit more, one of my younger sisters, one of my younger sisters, she um, gets a sty, like bad sty. My maid of honour says, M, I've got styes as well. And I'm like, oh shit. Um, I said, can you send me pictures just so I can kind of start documenting everything. So... My older sister starts sleuthing on this lady's Instagram. She finds pictures of her using the same concealer at other weddings. The exact same concealer. Um, it's clearly the same colour as well, based on the pictures. So she's using product directly from the tube onto other people's eyelids. Um, which is obviously a great big bloody no-no. Um, so it's taken me, it took me about five months to clear my eyes up fully. Like I said, sometimes when I get run down, I still get issues. Um, so what did I do? I messaged her on Facebook because my older sister didn't end up having her makeup done anyway. 
and I said, um, hi, I just wanted to say that I'm actually quite disappointed with the day. Like, the makeup looked okay, but now I've had these issues with my eyes, so have the other bridesmaids, so I've worked out. Um, she didn't put concealer on my mum, because she was like, oh, wrinkles, blah, 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 so she just put foundation on my mum. Me, my older sister, one of my younger sisters, and my maid of honour were all done by the main makeup lady who used the concealer, the 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 spoken not spoken of concealer. Um, my youngest sister, thank God, didn't get done by the lady that did us, which is the lady I actually hired. Um, and one of my other bridesmaids had no issues at all with their their skin, their makeup, anything like that after the wedding. Um, and so I, I explained the situation and she was like, your sister was so rude to me on the day, blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, I'm sorry about that. You should have maybe like addressed it with me and I could have spoken to her. Like I wasn't in the room when apparently she was rude. So I messaged my hairdresser because I, I could speak to the girls. The girl's going to back my sister up if the makeup artist is going to be a bitch. And I thought, you know what, let's, let's be unbiased about the situation. I said, I'm really sorry to ask you this, but was my sister rude to the makeup artist? She was like, no, I was there. All she said was, like, you focus on the bride. I Absolutely, it's fine. Um, you can do touch-ups on me afterwards. That was their interaction. I wouldn't say that's rude. Um, and she was like, well, I offered you, like, a voucher for having a facial with me. Um, I really wasn't expecting a message like this on a Tuesday morning. Um, I don't want to deal with it. Like, I, you know, you didn't say anything on the day. It's like, first off, like, the issues with the cleanliness and my eyes started after the day, you know. So what was I supposed to do on the day about that? She's like, you didn't say anything about your makeup. I said... I know, I just said, like, it wasn't how I had it in the trial, that there wasn't anything, like, overly wrong with it. Um, I'm just more upset that you didn't get the lipstick and then you left me with literally no lipstick or a brush to apply what was left of that lipstick. Like, you know. Um, and she's like, oh, I don't want to deal with this on a Tuesday morning, and blocked me. Like, because I said to her, Basically, I said, um, I would you mind just refunding me the money for my sister's makeup? I because I don't really want to have a facial with you because of the cleanliness issue with the makeup. I don't know how you do your facials. Like for me, my eyes are. I don't know when you'd be able to do a facial because you wouldn't want to do them while my eyes are like this. Um, I said I'd rather just have the refund for the single bridesmaid that didn't get her makeup done and move on with it. She's like, don't want to deal with this on a Tuesday morning and blocked me. So I, I, I was a bit petty. Stay tuned for part three.